Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here. Okay, so um, this is going to be a twin flame reading for uh, March the 27th until April the 3rd. So I just put out a reading that um, that had to do with facing your shadow aspect. You know, uh, facing your fears head on. You know, there's a, I was picking up an energy around the channel that was really, um, had a lot to do with fear. And so by making that video, I released that fear. And in doing so, I got a very beautiful message to um, be in the now, in the stillness, and connect with your true authentic self, your um, be yourself, you know, that song by um, Chris Cornell, be yourself is all that you can be. So being true to yourself takes all that fear away. You know, living in the now, in totality, is where you know, the conscious mind needs to be in order to find, you know, peace. So that's what this journey is all about. It's about, you know, coming into your consciousness, uh, realizing who you are and living your truth. So um, whenever fear creeps up, it's because you formed an attachment to something and you fear losing it. Um, you know, and that could be a relationship or material things. It's, you know, I form an attachment to the channel. You know, I try not to, but that's just the way it is. So, you know, if I'm sensing negative energy, then fear comes up in me. Oh, well, you know, maybe things will go bad. Um, you know, I'm allowing that negative energy to control me and that's all conditioning you know it's we've been um, conditioned to think that way to let 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 uh, fear take control so yeah the the key to freedom is just to live your life the way you wanted to live without constraints without rules without borders no controls be yourself, let go of the ego, and uh, above all, be creative. That's where you can find your light, let your light shine. All right, so um, you've noticed here that I have shuffled two different decks. So I think what I'm going to do... Uh, for the Twin Flame meeting, I'm going to do a Divine Partnership, but I'll pull the center uh, union energy as well. Okay, so, but I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible. And I'm only going to be using these two decks, and then I'll pull, um, for the center energy, I'll use the John Holland. So I just kind of want to mix things up a little bit, you know, not... Uh, sticking to routine, I, I tend to lose the message after a while. All right, so um, for the masculine, uh, the way he views the relationship. Chariot. So this talks about uh, emotions. It's water. Um, it talks about going after those things that really, um, that you love, that you... Um, desire that uh, awaken you to um, your higher self, your higher purpose. It, it also talks about not only going after your dreams, but taking control, grabbing those reins and, um, you know, using your pure will to drive you forward. Um, but it has an emotional attachment to it. It, you know, it's doing what you love and going for it. So, uh, in terms of this is how he views a relationship, there's a sense that there's movement. 
uh, opening up his heart, allowing love in, um, expressing love. But, um, yeah, pushing through any fears. So I'm going to pull all the masculine, and then I'll pull all the feminine. What is he resisting? The world card. This is the last piece of the puzzle being put in place. It is uh, the completion of a major cycle, up to 20 years. It's uh, going through the entire awakening process. It's um, You can't get any higher than this. But it's a completion and also a beginning. So it's a brand new start, um, shedding your old life and starting new, but living your truth consciously, aware, awake, your true authentic life, not being restrained or held back. As it's from your higher self, Seven of Swords, um, this is deception and envy, but it's also a feeling of sneaking away, feeling like you, um, you need to, you know, you don't feel like strong enough to face your fears. You'd rather just, um, walk away in the middle of the night and, uh, never turn back again, but it's always with you. The shadow always follows you. What goes around comes around. The grand cycle. It'll, you'll keep playing out the same karmic relationships over and over again until you can finally, you know, put an end to it yourself. And only you can decide that. So your higher self is telling you to be honorable. Uh, recent past position. Page of Pentacles. Um, this is an earth energy. It is um, making things a reality in the 3D. It's having ideas uh, and, you know, really putting those ideas into motion. Uh, so it could also be like... Um, wanting to lay a foundation but it's the idea of doing it it's not actual grounding it's the idea of doing it uh this is also a page so it could represent communication so let's see what else is around that energy all right so his present position star card so this represents wish granted but it also represents, you know, going through a very rough period of time, like the worst um, challenge that you've ever faced. And um, this card usually comes to offer hope and um, healing energy. So the card is here to say that the worst is over now. And now you can rest take peace in knowing that um, abundance and happiness is coming your way. So to look after yourself. Future position, Queen of Wands. Um, a fire energy and she is the object of desire, she is a center of attention, she is charismatic, and um, she is very open in sharing. She gives a lot of herself and um, expects nothing in return. She's just open to giving to everyone, and because of that, it comes back to her. So. There's a sense here that the feminine is being represented as um, this passionate, um, open, giving woman. 
and it's like I said in the future position so fiery energy here message from the universe Queen of Cups um, this represents someone that you love very dearly um, she brings out you know she makes you your heart chakra open and feel love very deeply so you're surrounded by her energy and it makes you feel peaceful and it's guiding you to follow your heart so the universe is saying follow your heart The energy surrounding the masculine, the Knight of Pentacles. So, um, this energy is the slowest knight, but he is the uh, most faithful, most determined, uh, most dependable knight there is. He gets to where he's going. He makes his dreams a reality in the 3D world. And when he shows up, it means that the night is about to arrive. Um, so, something that has been, you know, the, the page of Pentacles, that's that thought, you know, putting those plans in motion. Um, and then the night is actually moving forward with that, carrying out those plans and making them a reality step by step very slow but um, they stay it's a long term kind of permanent energy I like the way the Queen of Cups is looking at the knight it's like oh there you are I've been waiting for you So what does he fear? Ace of Cups. So he fears opening his heart completely and allowing uh, to feel that love. It's like, you know, this knight is actually looking back at the cup. And he comes with his pentacle and he comes with this cup of love, but he fears taking it or offering it or the new beginning or you know just opening his heart fully what could that mean for him feeling exposed raw naked So I'm going to look at the bottom of the Osho, and I will read that um, just as the overall energy for the reading. So, you know, looking at this, there's a grounded energy and an emotional energy. There's a lingering fear here, but for Overall, it seems like the, the masculine has healed his heart and grounded himself. Um, yeah, I mean, there is some lingering fears, but I love that you're healing, letting go of those fears and really opening yourself up. You know, don't, you know, what, what is it that you fear? Do you fear being hurt? Then that's stopping you from, you know, letting love into your life. And that's why we're here, to, to love each other, everyone, you know. Being closed off is 
you're hurting yourself. There's nothing, you know, you don't lose anything by loving. Okay, so um, one more little shuffle here. Rebirth. Okay, so let me read that. I know, I'm looking right at it. Oh, there it is, 136. This card depicts the evolution of consciousness as it is described by Friedrich Nietzsche in his book, uh, The Spake Zarathustra. He speaks of three levels of camel, lion, and child. The camel, sleepy, dull, self-satisfied, he lives in delusion, thinking he's a mountain peak, but really he is concerned, uh, he's so concerned with others' opinions that he hardly has any energy of his own. Emerging from the camels, a lion, when we realize we've been missing life, we start saying no to the demands of others. We move out of the crowd, alone and proud, roaring your, our truth. But this is not the end. Finally, the child emerges. Neither acquiescent nor rebellious, but innocent and spontaneous and true to his own being. Whatever the space you're in right now, sleepy and depressed or roaring and rebellious, be aware that it will evolve into something new if you allow it. It's a time of growth and change. So, yeah, it's, um, you know, and that's kind of what I was trying to say at the beginning of the video, there's different levels of awakening. Um, the lowest level, camel, uh, those are, you know, people that do their nine to five job uh, and they work just to pay the bills. Um, they believe in, um, you know, the past lives, uh, the stories that have been told about them. You know, they're, they're, they're walking around with a character uh, and they're playing out those roles. So, you know, those are people that um, tend to react in fear a lot. The next level is realizing that you are the lion amongst the sheep, that you, um, that you, uh, you know, being your own person, um, you know, living authentic, uh, authentically uh, is that you know that uh, bravery that strength within you it's like you feel like you're you know as strong as a lion you're you're finding your strength within and to stand out and you know not be oppressed by energy and you know negative energy and rules the next level uh, up is a child, it's innocent, it's very reflective of what was going on in the reading that I did earlier, uh, the shadow reading. It's um, being free and innocent and, you know, reclaiming that, that which was taken away from you when you were a child. Um, you know, playing freely and not worrying about um, anybody coming down on you or, you know, you know what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, it's like, you can continue to, um, live in fear, live in denial, um, but ultimately, you know, you... The journey of consciousness is awareness and um, the mechanism to get to that point is to open your heart chakra and allow love in. And if you don't allow love in, then you're going to be stuck in this state of fear and not facing your shadow aspect. 
So, yeah, don't fear love. Seriously, WTF. Okay, so now we're moving on to the feminine. So, just a quick shuffle here again. Oh, all right, stop, fine. All right, the way you view this relationship, Six of Cups. Um, so this is uh, kind of what I was talking about with um, this energy here of the child loving freely, you know, that pure innocent love that you give as a child. It doesn't come with attachments or, you know, expectations. You just love. You love to play. You love to dance. You love everybody. And it's re reclaiming that innocence in you. So the way that you view this relationship is um, a pure love, an innocent love. Okay, so what are you resisting? The King of Pentacles, Earth energy. Um, the King is someone who is wealthy or a, has a lot of abundance, um, but he doesn't care about that. What he cares about is having his family and his friends around him and just really enjoying life. So. Money isn't an issue with him. He's just really happy and grounded and generous and balanced. So she's resisting the King of Pentacles. You know, and there's a progression here. We have the page, the knight, and then the king. What's missing is the queen. Um, so well, let's continue on. Maybe there's a link. Okay. Message from the feminine's higher self. A hermit. So um, currently you are at peace. Uh, the feminine. They are withdrawn from the material world. That makes sense. Um, they're not placing quite as much value on material possessions, um, but also um, all the things that go with it, like the ego. Um, so there's there's peace, there's stillness, there's knowledge about the you know um, the spiritual world. You have a lot of wisdom, and you want to share that wisdom um, with others. Shine your light. So spirit is asking, or your higher self is asking you to, to continue to meditate, to release any negative energy, negative thoughts. Um, there, you know, anything that's going on in the external world is a reflection of you, of you, your internal world. It's all just a movie that's being played in your mind. And when you realize that you are in control of the helm that you can take the reins and direct how the movie is played out or how the players react you know it changes everything but you need to completely detach from um, everything including your masculine completely not want um, and the masculine, again, has to let go of fear. So, I'm still not understanding what that King of Pentacles is. Recent past position, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so that's a change. So, significant change is a completion of a cycle not quite as long as the world card um, but it's substantial enough to um, 
feel like you're not, like you're, you know, losing control, like you don't, uh, you can't direct that energy. And so that's the reason why you went into this hermit state. Um, finding silence within, stillness within. So, yeah, it's, um, it makes sense that, you know, you've come to a different level of, of completion. Okay, so present position, the Hierophant, High Priest. So, you feel connected to source, to um, you know, to the higher consciousness. The hierophant represents someone who can, uh, it, who is a go-between between spirit and um, the three D world. So there's that connection there. Uh, it also could represent the masculine in a spiritual form. You know, that connection, that five D connection. Um, presently you feel this could also represent being a spiritual leader to others being connected to like-minded people helps you become you know who you truly are your true authentic self living your highest purpose Okay, so future position, Ace of Cups again. So the masculine got that in his fear position. Um, that's a masculine hand. This Ace of Cups has a third eye activated. So, yeah, it's the beginning of love. It's opening your heart and allowing love to come in. Message from the universe. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Another Ace. So, um, this is grounded energy. It's a seed being planted in the 3D. It is um, manifesting your dreams into reality. Another masculine hand. Uh, energy surrounding the feminine, justice, balance, eleven. So, eleven, eleven. Um, that wheel of fortune is a ten, which reduces to one. Um, the hermit's a nine. I'm just looking at the masculine side. A lot of court cards on the masculine side. But there's a sense that a major cycle is coming to completion. Okay, so this represents karma coming back to you. Um, the Wheel of Fortune represents the same thing as well. It's karma coming back. So there's like... Um, this Six of Cups also represents someone coming back from your past as well. which could be this earth energy. And there's a sense that you're resisting it. That, you know, he has that pinnacle in his hand. And there's a sense of that energy coming from the uh, external. So yeah, um, this represents getting what you wanted it's a cause and effect and what do you fear for the feminine three of cups um, this represents like a union you represent are you you're, you're afraid of coming together with your true love are you afraid it's not going to happen um, but this is supposed to be a, a time of, you know, self 
Sorry about that. Ran out of memory. Um, what were they saying? Yeah, there's um, the feminine is very balanced, grounded, and um, connected to their higher self. Um, and because of that, there's this uh, cycle of change that's coming towards her in a good way. And there are these uh, new beginnings being offered to her. And again, somebody from the past coming back. Um, union. Oop. Uh, for the masculine side, um, there's a movement forward. And it was, it's been a very long journey. Um, but there's also a sense that he's afraid um, and wants to run away. Uh, but if, you know, that cycle will just continue to be repeated again and again. So, you know, he can resist putting an end to that and finally living his truth or you know the cycle can continue it's up to you okay so next is going to be the twin flame part of the reading all right so I'm going to pull the Four cards for the feminine, four for the masculine, and then five for the center. Oh, I forgot to pull an Osho for the feminine side. Ordinariness. I actually got this card as well in my personal reading that I that inspired the shadow video eight sorry sometimes it happens that you become one in some rare moment Watch the ocean, the tremendous wild, wildness of it, <laughs> and suddenly you forget your split, your schizophrenia, you relax. Or moving in the Himalayas, seeing the virgin snow on the Himalayan peaks, suddenly a coolness surrounds you and you need not be false because there is no other human being to be false to. That's exactly what I've been saying. You fall together, or listening to beautiful music, you fall together. Whenever in whatsoever situation you become one a peace a happiness a bliss surrounds you arises in you you feel fulfilled there is no need to wait for these moments these moments can become your natural life these extraordinary moments can become ordinary moments that is the whole effort is in you can live an extraordinary life in a very ordinary life cutting wood chopping wood carrying water from the well you can be tremendously at ease with yourself, cleaning the floor, cooking food, washing the clothes. You can be perfectly at ease because the whole question is of you doing your action totally, enjoying, delighting in it. Totality. You are completely enjoying the moments, not seeking um, anything from the outside world to give you pleasure. You know, you're just really enjoying everything that's surrounding you in the moment, being in the now. Okay, so for um, the twin flame part, so um, the feminine recent, not recent past, but the feminine past position, a waiting game so this is making a decision that wasn't based on fear it's based on your your dreams your highest visions uh, and there's a sense of waiting for that return uh, masculine 
patience, balance, integration, union, planting the seed and nurturing it, allowing it to grow into a beautiful flower. Grounded energy. Present position feminine, transformation, metamorphosis into a beautiful butterfly, letting go of your ego, letting go of the story, the characters, the attachments, the material world. There's nothing out there that can give you what you need. What you need is found within. Present position masculine, light, the sun card. Um, reclaiming your innocence. Uh, shining in light. Um, feeling happy, free, excited, playful, joyful, celebrating life. Just feeling exuberant, so much happiness and peace. And also finding, um, you know, your, your, the sun represents masculine qualities. Shining bright like the sun. Near future position. Permit solitude. So this was a message from the higher self for the feminine is to seek solitude and wisdom. Uh, continue to share uh, your light. Be a light unto others. Like the masculine. Okay, so for the near future masculine, victory and success, six of wands, you know, being recognized um, for, you know, living your truth, your highest purpose, and uh, being in the light as well. People are, are proud of you, They're, they see you as an example because you're living your truth. Wand is spirituality. Okay, so final outcome, feminine. Seven of Wands, stand your ground. Very similar energies here. You know, success and finding strength. There, you know, both of the energies are standing at the top of the mountain, feeling very successful and strong. Final Kamasa. Wow, heart chakra. That's messed up, dude. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, well, um,. That's exactly what I was saying. Open your heart. Don't fear love. Be strong. It's just love. It's not a big deal. All right. What is the feminine bringing into the union? Ace of Swords. Triumphant success. You're holding... The Book of Knowledge, um, you're wearing butterfly wings and you got this big badass wand. So, wow, yeah, you got a lot of reason to be successful. And the Sword of Truth to boot. This is cutting away the darkness, allowing the light to come in, cutting away barriers, but speaking your truth, knowing your truth. Grounding an idea into reality. Masculine. Destiny. Wheel of Fortune. Again. The feminine got this in uh, her recent past position. So heart chakra open. Um, it represents significant change. It is... 
meeting your destiny, things coming full circle, completion of a cycle. Opening your heart chakra. Um, foundation, hope, star card again. Maskman got this in his present position. Um, it's wish granted. So it's a, a shared energy, wish granted, hope. The worst is over. So, you know, this the light is being held in um, both of your hands. You see the light within both of you. Like, you see the light in each other. And it helps you shine your light brighter. Your reflections of one another. Crowning energy. Wow, divine masculine. So the divine feminine actually came in pretty strongly with a shadow reading as creativity, which is the empress. Uh, so the overall you know, crowning energy for the union is the masculine coming into his strength, his feeling, you know, like a child, being reborn. That's what the sun represents, finding your innocence, rebirth. And the heart-centered energy, three pentacles, recognition, reward. Again, it's having the light shining down on both of you. Uh, it's illumination. It's a grounded energy as well. It's that, you know, the seed was planted and there's a sense of growth and then a return. So seeing abundance coming towards you, that initial return, that initial grounding and success so um, you know it's three represents a union energy two people coming together uh, for a single goal single purpose all right so I'm going to now pull two ca cards from call it Bear and read and I'll read those to you I'm gonna make sure it's Upright. So for the feminine first. So the devil card is, um, is, you know, transforming into a completely new person, new life. And the sun card is the exact same thing. It's a reflection energy. It's a rebirth, um, rising phoenix from the ashes. And butterfly, and here we got a fire, you know, the phoenix rising energy. Okay, so, um, and, you know, patience is waiting, and then two wands is waiting game. And again, with the, you know, success standing at the top of the mountain and being in your power, being illuminated. It's almost like, you know, there's this masculine energy holding this light here, the sun. So believing in his own strength and power and truth. Um, but you know, really believing it and seeing that truth, you know, coming from another, a reflection. You see yourself through another person. All right, so for the feminine first, movement, masculine, compass.
you're in a time of positive forward motion. This is a time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward no matter what your inquiry. You will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you know, and you now know the actions you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let go and move forward. Whoa. Jeez. Okay, and 50. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. Yeah, that's what the reading is about, right? Your higher self. You're entering uncharted territories right now, and you can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on your highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or higher power can serve this function. Money, prosperity, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. There are simply things you may experience along your journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass with spirit, as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems dark. Even on a starless night when all seems dark. Keep your compass pointed true north your higher self. Find that light within. And ditto. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. Much love, guys. Peace.